This is the BBC. This podcast is supported by advertising outside the UK. This is a download from BBC Learning English. To find out more, visit our website. Six Minute Grammar from bbclearningenglish.com Hello and welcome to Six Minute Grammar with me, Catherine. And me, Finn. Hello. In this programme, we're talking about present tenses. Now, let's get started. The first thing we need to know is that the present simple tense is mainly for facts, habits and truths. Now, Catherine, give me a true fact about you. A true fact about Mm, me is that I like gardening. Oh, wow. Yeah. Great. Love it. Thanks, Catherine. And can you tell me one of your habits? I drink... A cup of coffee every morning. I drink one at home and I drink another one when I get to work. So far, so good. We make the present simple with a subject and base verb and we add S to the verb for he, she and it. So I work, you work, he works, she works and so on. We make questions and negatives with do or does. So, Catherine, do you take milk? In your coffee? I do take milk in my coffee. Finn, do you take milk in your coffee? I don't. I like it black. And what about Mrs Finn? Does she take milk in her coffee? (laughs) She doesn't drink coffee. Oh, what does she drink? Tea. Oh. All the time. Very British. Yes. Good. So that's present simple for facts and habits. Now, when we're talking about activities, temporary situations and things that are happening now or around now, we use am is or are, plus an ing verb to make the present continuous. So, Finn, what are you doing now? Mm, Now, right now, right at this minute, Mm -hmm. I'm sitting in the studio on a chair talking to you. (laughs) But off and on, I'm also reading a novel called Mm -hmm. The Unconsoled by Kazuo Ishiguro. It's great. Well pronounced. Thank you. (laughs) And uh, are you reading anything right now, Catherine? Yes, I am. I'm reading a novel also. Um, It's a comedy about Adrian Mole and it's really good. I'm enjoying it a lot. Sounds great. I'd like to borrow it. You can. We can also use the present continuous for future arrangements. And so, Finn, what are you doing tonight? Oh, tonight I'm taking my wife to dinner. Oh, don't tell her. Lucky wife. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. So present simple for facts and habits, present continuous for activities and future arrangements. And now for the present perfect. We make it with have or has plus a past participle. It connects the past to the present and it's useful for asking about life experiences. So life experience question coming, Finn. Mm. Have you ever eaten insects? I have, yes. I've eaten ants and beetles in Cambodia. So in the question, the word ever means at any time in your life. Never means at no time in your life. So Catherine, tell us about an experience that you have never had. Well, I've never eaten insects, Finn. Okay. um, And I've never been on safari. Okay. But um, I'm sure that our colleague Rob has been on safari. He's been to many places, yes. (laughs) Other words we can use with present perfect are just, already and yet. We use just, already and yet a lot when we're using the present perfect tense to talk about the present effect of a past event. Already means something has happened perhaps earlier than expected. So, Finn, give us an example of already. Right, I've already had breakfast today. And coffee? Have you had coffee? I've just had a cup of coffee. Just means recently. And I haven't had lunch yet. I should think not. It's only half ten. It's a bit early for lunch, yeah. (laughs) And yet means something like not until now. Good. And if a past situation has continued until now, use for or since to say how long it's continued. Like this. I've lived in London for five years. I've been married since 2003. And we also use the present perfect to give news, things that happened a short time ago and are important now. So, have you got any news for us, Catherine? Yes, I have, actually. OK. I've won the lottery. I don't believe you. (laughs) That's because I'm not telling the truth. It's just an example. OK. You're listening to bbclearningenglish.com. 
And we're talking about present tenses. And it's quiz time. Question one. Which of these sentences best describes a habit? A. I have smoked 20 cigarettes a day. B. I smoke 20 cigarettes a day. And the answer is B. I smoke 20 cigarettes a day. Question two. Is this sentence grammatically correct or wrong? Humans have not visited the planet Mars yet, but they have already been to the moon. It's correct. It is. Now, last one. Which sentence is correct? A. Catherine has never eaten insects. B. Catherine never eats insects. Or C. Catherine is never eating insects. And the answer is that both A and B are correct. Uh Uh As a life experience, it's true to say that I have never eaten insects. And as a fact, I can say I never eat insects. So that brings us to the end of the quiz. And well done to you if you got them all right. Free insect for everyone who got all of (laughs) those right. Now, there's more about this on our website at bbclearningenglish.com. Join us again for more six-minute grammar. Bye. Bye.